Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. down the gauntlet with that anthem now to match it It is our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1. Well, if you want to secure a clean sheet, Peter, this is a very good way of going about it. It adds discipline and lends a stubbornness to that midfield, which can stifle opposition attempts to, to play through, and it takes a lot of pressure off your defence, of course. Forces longer passes through the aerial route. So, all things considered, that extra layer across midfield is highly, highly effective. So it's away we go then. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Lorenzo Insigne. One thing he excels at is cutting inside from that left wing, Peter, to take a shot with his right. He's far from a one-trick pony, though, and he's really good at varying his game depending on how the opposition are, are shaping up. Usually, he finds space and he does something very good with it. Hard to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. Ferrari. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Nicely controlled. That's great strength on the ball. Tries to get it forward quickly. Runal. Whipped in. Great leap! Good stop. That wasn't easy. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Just brushed off the ball there. Italy have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Under! Goal! Turkey! And Turkey take the lead! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Turkey take the lead. 
Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Locatelli hoists it forward. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Unal. Coming up to half-time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. It's Uno! And it's played forward. Gets wrestled off the ball. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. for half time and there we are off they go for half time the breakthrough did indeed come in the first half but there has only been that one goal which is very very <laughs> turkey head for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead so we're just settling back into this second half turkey's going well here and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead they don't have to over commit but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Out to the left it goes. Oh, good interception. Chiellini. Locatelli. Spinazzola. It's a throw. there a scorer already in the game Turkey are still that goal to the good and there keeps everyone guessing plenty waiting in the middle He's had a look, he's had a go! He scores! And this is getting better and better. Oh, what a cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. Turkey take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. And it's Insigne. Insigne with the cross-field ball. Forward it goes. Under. Dinks one in. That's a good ball to... He's had a shot! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. Well, we call that the slide rule pass. Time to absolute perfection. Quality ball. So here comes the substitution. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change.
Jorginho. Unal. Just five minutes left. And he shoots! Oh, no shortage of confidence there. Well, the run was really impressive. The finish was depressive, and expectations were not met. Panucci. Two minutes to be added on. Chiesa. Surely this is the last chance now. And the time is up, and there goes the whistle. Solid, if not especially fancy, always in control. They did enough to win it. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That eases the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very...